Sagittarius, how you doing? Welcome to your February reading here on the Astro Flower. February means uh, purification, apparently. So uh, it seems that way, actually. February seems to be like a purification month for most people. A leap of faith for you, maybe, uh, in this purification moment. I think you've done a lot of purification, actually, over the past sort of two years. Um, and maybe it's a case of putting that purification into practice. We'll sort of see. There's loads of other things going on as well. There was Pluto that went into Aquarius in January. Uh, and also in February, you've got uh, Venus, Mars and Mercury going um, into Aquarius as well. Um, and then obviously we move into Pisces. So it is a, it is a bumper packed month with an extra day for leap year. So uh, very interesting indeed. Let's just go over here. Let's just see what the overall um, thing's going on. We've got the overall energy here on the Astro Flower. You've got your karmic message on your spiritual path or your emotional or your, your sort, of, uh, sort of relationship side. Uh, here is the spiritual path on your, on your spiritual path, your magnet, your, I'll get there in a minute, your karmic path on your material side uh, to do with your job, your business and your projects and so forth. Um, yeah, so, and uh, yeah, this is how the universe influences you. This is how your past self influences you. This is how your future self influences you. And this is the general sort of outcome. Okay, so I hope you have a lovely reading, uh, Sagittarius. Let's just jump straight in here and see what's going on. This card wants to jump out. Yeah, it's, it maybe it is a time with all this purification. It's now a time to start, breathe, uh, you know, believing um, in life again. It's, maybe that's the kicker that's missing in your life um, of, of projecting everything. You know, le you know, going after a little bit of something that's just slightly out of your reach. This is what maybe that, that fall card was all about, that leap of faith. Um, yeah, and it could, be, um, it could be also sort of like stop wondering about it and going ahead and doing it. That's maybe what the, you know, the energy is. And the energy is not sort of like being harsh about it. It is also encouraging you to explore your horizons within, you know, in the scope of what is possible and what is joyful for you. <laughs> Wheel of fortune on your karmic path, on your relationship or your spiritual path. <coughs> this has come up a lot, certainly for fire signs. Um, and as I said, I think maybe you are the instigator in this thing here. Um, in this Wheel of Fortune. You've done that work over the last two years that I was talking about, and now is the time to put it into gear and start moving forward. That's what it seems like within the relationship or your spiritual path. You might have been wondering whether I'd like to do some sort of spiritual practice or workshop or a retreat or something like that. And, you know, you will create your own fortunes once you start initiating it all. Yeah, getting down to work. The universe here wants to bring in the eight of pentacles to you, concentrating on the smaller things in order to get there. So concentrating on getting that workshop booked up, going on that weekend retreat, uh, learning uh, a certain a new, uh, a new attribute to your spiritual or emotional path, engaging with um, a relationship, going into a relationship, all of those sort of things. And it's just starting off by, say, like with the relationship side, it's sort of going to just asking someone if they would like to go to the cinema. As simple as that. Um, on your spiritual path, it could be just booking up these work, at the, you know, the weekend workshops and, uh, and so forth in order for you to uh, explore and uh, those, concentrating on those little things of booking it all up will instigate the bigger plan, as it were the bigger pentacles that are coming your way. But the universe here is sort of saying, now it's time to get down to work by the looks of things. Where have you come from? Yeah, I think you've done a lot of work, as I said, um, Sagittarius. I called you Scorpio earlier on, didn't I? Blimey, sorry about that. Uh, not that Scorpios are a bad sign, I'm just sort of out of respect for you. Do apologize about that. I think I did. If I didn't, then oh, yeah, I didn't. But I think I did. Sorry about that, Sagittarius. Yeah, I think you've come from this, this work you've done over the past sort of two years. It's brought you back to, it's almost a blessing, this work. Because now, you, as you go into this work that you're doing, and this change of fortune, and believing again in life, it means you're not going to carry with you, this time, a lot of things that really held you back in the past. 
uh, and it's going to be a lot easier for you to implement what you want out of life. And yeah, you do have to play smart. You do have to play smart. And I think that's what the work is all about here. And I think this is that realization of what uh, the past is sort of like um, you can, that you've now healing from. Um, and it gives you that blessing to see the future a lot more with an open heart. And you're putting in the work. And if you're putting in the work, this is where you're going to have to be in alignment with your energy, your passions, your spirit. So therefore, you're you're not wasting your time. And this is where I'm. This is what I mean about playing smart. Because now you've got to. You're not going to bring a lot of things into your future um, that you don't that, that that blocked you in the past. You know. So it's clearing those things out. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, clearing those things out, and that's what happened with the Four of Swords. What's the general outcome for you? Yeah. None of these cards are really moving fast, and I wouldn't go fast. I would allow the dream or allow the beauty of life to come into you. You know your shadow side. You know your goals and ambitions in regards to your spirit and your relationships. You've got both sides of there. And if you're going to play smart about it, if you play smart about it, you will always have your ambitions for you spiritually, relationships light, emotionally, lighting and guiding your way. And it's going to make steady but sure progress. And I think it'll actually go a lot quicker than you think. But it's the attention to smaller stuff that I think is really important on that sort of side. On your financial side, on your um, karmic mission, you've got the three of wands. Could be procrastination on your behalf. I think this is one of your ills sometimes um, of procrastinating. But then when you don't procrastinate, and this is the other side of Sagittarius, you're an incredibly dynamic and here is a case of out of those dreams that are there uh, of what you want to do in the way of job, business and projects, choosing the wave of, of energy that goes into this new life you're leading or you're creating is very delicate and it can be seen as procrastination. But the thing is, there's, there's, the plan is in place. Those two wands are in place. It's now time for you to just take that other one wand and go off and head off on your journey. A little bit like how the hermit's got that one staff and he's being guided by his ambitions. I think there's a very similar sort of thing here. It's choosing your moment of injecture, which is really important. The universe is, is blocking everything that should no longer be in your life this is the purification side of it all then okay um and so this is where i think you need to take time this month uh you know enjoy the month in a way allow your dreams to grow uh allow yourself to let go of things within you know could have been like ambitions for a career path or ambitions for a business or a project that are really not in line with you anymore and this is what i mean about Choosing the reality or choosing the wave of energy in a really, that fits with you, that sits with your plan more than anything else of what you want to achieve in your life. Okay. Well, there's too many cards coming up there. I'm going to let them go. Um, yes. Let's just see how your past self is trying to advise you here. There's that card that just wants to jump out. King of Cups. This is what you've distilled in the past. And I think this is what has allowed you to give you a lot of healing. I think there's a case of you feel comfortable with who you are in what you're doing when it works for you. You know, um, and the thing is, is this is where you're letting go of certain aspects of the dream or the aspirations in order to, for you to feel comfortable about yourself, which will give you a much stronger and determined aspect to your uh, career path of your business and, and your projects if you're very at one with yourself 
ten of wands at the top here. This is part of that purification here. The universe is bringing in things here, and I think this is why you sort of be should be quite patient about taking what path you take. The universe here is bringing you, and this is good for you, right? You've got to realise some things are dead, done, and dusted with, and that's where the ten of wands comes in play. Is that you tend to carry too much, and that's where you should have helped yourself to be emotionally sort of at one with yourself in order to sort of say, no, I need to let go of that aspect. I need to let go of that thing or let go of that. So I can concentrate on the things that are gonna bring me the success basically. And that's the purification for you that month. And that is you. You being you, it's very, very sociable a lot of energy, a lot of passion about where you're going and what you're doing. It's you taking on that wand, that, that, that direction, that pathway that is designed for you and only you, because you are the creator of your path. And once you let go of a few things this month, you're gonna be rocking and rolling. It's gonna be, it'll build like a crescendo over the month, that's how I feel. So, um, yeah, let's do a bit of clarification with the Light Seers cards. Um, yeah, thank you very much for being here. I hope you get the best out of these readings. Uh, if you want to show support for this channel, it's absolutely lovely. You can also do that. There's links in the description below where you can book up a private reading with myself or uh, also connect to our sister channel, Cymatic TV. Uh, we've done some great stuff about Lord's energies. Uh, it's been quite mad. Yeah, so, you know, explore, basically. And, and I just appreciate every sort of support you give to this channel. I really do. Um, yes, I hope you get the best out of all of these readings. Let's just see what the um, Lightseers cards uh, are giving us. What's this sort of, like, playful, dreamy, like, overall energy that's coming through your life at the moment? <laughs> it's all to do with a cup. that side of it as well because these are the um these are the only ones that are showing the cups but the ace of cups this is where the overall energy is trying to help you to believe in the ultimate dream believing in life again as i said at the beginning loving that connection with life again um uh, with you and and living it and being it fully and i think that works really well within your financial side if there's you know if you deal with that sort of getting shot of a few things in your life that you don't need and certainly playing smart on your relationship side it's going to allow you to get into alignment with your true inner being of where you should be going basically really nice um the wheel of fortune there you get the three of cups there's a lot of celebration i think <coughs> i think you are uh, an incredible sociable animal basically uh Sagittarius and when you're on form you know you have a wicked sense of humor in all the senses of a wicked sense of humor um, and I think connecting with other people is also going to help you to heal and play smart for your future and allow you to really slowly but surely go towards the ultimate uh, dream of what you should be living in this world here and it's connecting with other people, which is really important. And bringing your cup to, this, to the situation. Uh, what's this eight of uh, pentacles all about? Where's this work coming in? Yeah, how are you? Maybe it's a case of here with that eight of pentacles there. is allowing you to play smart. And one of the ways in which you play smart is physically engaging in life. So that's going on that yoga course. It's doing uh, meditation going down the park and meditating with other people in groups of people and this is where you will be able to change your fortune and connect with other people as well uh, i think it's going to provide a lot for you uh, basically um, this work here and it's physically engaging in it excuse me a second cody that'll do vienna vienna got my dog just wandering off i know mate i know I well, know. He's been swimming already. <laughs> Doesn't need to go swimming anymore. Uh, right, yes, so I think once you start planting those seeds, I think that's where you're going to start really sort of seeing this slow progression thing 
but it's going to make you feel incredibly good and and finding your place within the group and the the people that are around you the healing that comes into your life and the regrouping of everything to making you feel at home this is where you've come from you've done a lot of uh, self-analysis investigation um, sort of intuition and so forth uh, within your life and it's opened a lot of ideas and a lot of possibilities that you've examined and yeah some of them might have been difficult to look at and this is the blessing of knowing who you are uh, and once you know who you are that's when you can really start playing smart and start playing to your strengths which I think is within not only within your interest but everybody interests around you and it makes for a very sociable enjoyable time yeah six of swords and the seven of swords a lot of people have been getting them together uh, especially in the fire signs here and this is present and this is pulling you forward if you start playing smart you're going to advance on your pathway on your spiritual pathway and on your relation you know in your relationship pathway a lot quicker it's concentrating on those smaller details booking up that weekend workshop once you do then that weekend workshop is going to go really well it's once you engage that's where you can really start changing things in your favor and it's your playing smart is helping yourself through to higher ground as it were the hermit you get the two of wands planning that's what i said in that three of wands there this is the planning here and you have the world at your fingertips and i think there is a bit of traveling going on here connecting with other people creating scenarios that and this is why i'm sort of saying booking up a weekend workshop because you're going to have to go there in order to do it it's all in the planning that's going to make you feel well not make you feel it's going to be physically because this is where we got here it's going to be phys physically progressing you upon your path in a very consistent way that's going to make you feel like that growth is happening within your life and it is happening and you should recognize that you know let's just see what's going on on your material side with the three of ones you get the ten of swords the ten of swords is twice now i think there's a case here where you have to sort of allow the dust to settle from all your purification and this is going to allow you to see clearly all of that so you know it's it's good to dream it's good to engage your heart but i'd be very conscious about just jumping on a bandwagon or, or just zipping off in one direction and start really looking at um, the greater picture as it were taking your time choosing your interjection with the world around you in a very much more sort of calm way which should come through from that and the moment you do that's when it's going to make things very sociable with the knight of wands the ten of swords yeah put yourself first man don't hold back when you're in a good way everybody else's can be in a good way that's how it works and I think this is where, you, you know, the universe here is sort of trying to help you purify that message within you. But once you start pushing yourself forward, not at the detriment of others, but once you start putting yourself forward, then you can let go of sort of uh, the painful sort of uh, things of the past that may not have worked totally within your favour. Um, what's this King of Cups all about? Got the night of, yeah, as I said earlier on, once you start engaging in it and realising engaging in it that way, that's going to bring up the night of wands. And it did. A very sociable, I think, with this calmness within you in regards to your career path and your business and your projects, if you do do that and start streamlining a few things, all of a sudden things are going to start moving a lot quicker for you. Opportunities are going to be um, built or uh, created through your passions for living. And, you know, in order to really, for a motor to run properly, you can't, you know, it's got to have the right mix of air and, uh, you know, and, and, and carburant and, and petrol and uh, things like that. You know, it's got to have the right ingredients that are mixed together uh, in order for you to really sort of go after what you should be going after. Hmm. any plans or any engagement that you've been doing on your side over the past that's caused you stress strain and and pain emotional pain because you may not have got the success you wanted to get and etc they need to be let go of 
this is not a breakup here. Yes, it is a breakup in a way. It's a breakup of things that don't work for you, basically. And that's where this whole sort of thing here comes into play. And it allows that part of your life to really take hold and start flourishing within your career path. But it, yeah, it could have been painful. You know, we've all wanted to do something. I wanted to be a spaceman. That's not true, actually. I didn't. I didn't want to be a spaceman. I wanted to sing in a band, and I have done, but I didn't get the success I want. I got. Um, so, you know, and yeah, I would have liked it, and it's painful if I didn't do it, so I didn't do it. So, you know, and but I've let go of it. And that's helped me with my ultimate success. Look at that. That is where you should be going. You know, that's where you should be going. Success, ultimate success. Once you start engaging with it, uh, allowing your emotions to be very calm and realistic about where you're going, that's when you're going to get the success. I think you're going to get a huge amount of success if you do this work to streamline things and purify things. It's going to make you um, like a. It's going to put you um, front and center of the stage, basically, of life, and people are going to recognise. Wow. Sagittarius is really getting it on. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, so yeah, there you go, Sagittarius. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, don't forget about all the links in the description below. Uh, and yes, and uh, all the support that you give this channel is absolutely brilliant. Um, and Cymatic TV and what have you. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy. <laughs>